y'all it's me Kimberly welcome to my channel Katie's craft corner and here I am with another unboxing from Diamond Painting Club and I believe this is my June box I'm thinking I've got that right um, I think they did May April May and June and then skip July I want to say but it could have been April May skip June and then July but anyway I got this one and my April one both in August and this is the first chance I have had to unbox it and as you can see they put it in a much smaller box this time um hold on just a second okay I'm back I thought my phone had a funny message on it but it's just telling me that I'm recording through a mic well I know that you don't have to tell me that anyway they put it in a much smaller box and I have had a peek inside and I am not happy anyway let's go ahead and open this up I was going to show you why I'm not happy. It is stuffed in here. And this right here is the reason that I am not happy. Because that diamond painting is stuffed in there, bent, and the ends are folded in. And I know this is on the legend and everything, but I don't like that at all. I'm not happy. In the least I imagine there's probably going to be some nasty rivers on this one but anyway I've already contacted them and told them this and they told me to when I look at it to let them know if it's damaged and I certainly will but anyway let's get all of the items out of this box and get it out of the way I'm going to set the diamond paintings aside along with the drills and this time it looks like there is only two uh, kits and they both come with a Mosfa tray, a large plate of wax this time they came with straight pointed tweezers and this one doesn't appear to have a guard down in there which is really nice um, and then of course your clear pen with the uh, squeeze, squishy on it with the little uh, finger guards on it but yeah there doesn't appear to be anywhere in here the thing for that pointy set of tweezers thank you glad I noticed that and I haven't stabbed myself yet let's see and then there's a thing of drills and it looks like uh, if I had to guess those are pins um, it looks like it's a passport holder and what feels like a giant sticker and if you can tell I'm already not very pleased so let's start off with these right here Everything's in little crinkly pipes. Yep, these are pins. Which I probably wouldn't use them as pins. I would probably do something else because these pins don't ever stay. Um, but they're three identical little pins. And then you got this. It looks like you peel off the paper and then stick it to the back. And you have a little like brooch-like pin thing. Um, I probably would like sorry that's probably glaring <laughs> that's got a mirrored background I would probably like just diamond paint them and then turn around and uh, I don't know you could put magnets on the back of them and turn them into cover minders that would probably be the best thing a little diamond painted cover minder and just throw these away because these are cheap and they will pop off you'll end up having to glue them on uh, but anyway, I'll drop the pins back down in there and leave these out. You get a green boat, a little plate of wax, and a pink pen with it. The 
so it's got some pretty little and why are they in multiple I guess for each one okay each one has different colors I'm assuming since they're in separate little packets but this one would be blue and then that's an AB pink and gold and that looks like it is the glitter covered gold nope it's the paint covered gold and then some little pearl pearlescent teardrops so they will be different so they could be cover minders so since they'll each one be different you wouldn't be have three of the exact same cover minder so this one is a purple looks like AB you can see more of them that way purple AB and then some regular rhinestone ABs some pink ABs and then some iridescent purple teardrops and the last one will be like it's going to be the pink and orange AB cabochons and then a red AB teardrop a purple AB and pink AB it looks like pink AB is the only thing they all have in common so there will be three different ones so they, they would make some pretty cover minders um, and if you wanted to do them as cover minders you would have to you can go on Amazon or Aliexpress um, either one and get these right here I've got several different sizes there's the really thin ones down in there but then there's uh, different sizes here that's one of the really thin ones but these are rare earth magnets and they're super super strong as you can see that they'll, they'll grab real quick they'll make that go flying around the box but yeah get these rare earth magnets um you can get them on aliexpress pretty cheap um but i have several different sizes and there we go a little magnet tile work since it's not going to lay down right try to get them to stay side by side but they won't and yeah get these and then you can turn those into cover minders or even needle minders so let me go ahead and clean this up and I'll be right back okay next item is this what appears to be a passport cover some people have said a wallet um, but it folds in half and you can put a passport inside there and then you can also put a driver's license or credit card or whatever right there in that little section that's kind of stuck right there but right there you can put like a little credit card or your driver's license or whatever in there and put your passport in here and this is a red one um, I have seen someone say that they keep their uh, their little like the star or uh, sheets they put them in there, they cut them in half and then keep them in there. Um, it comes with a green boat, pink pen, pink wax. And then here are the drills. If I'm not mistaken, there was one more piece of got the clock. What all we get in the May box? The clock, the little purse. Oh, I can't remember now. It's still over here. The clock, the purse, the photo album, and the birds. So that's one, two, three, four. So this is four, two. Okay. There's four items here. 
see here are the special drills you got the little peacock feather drills um, looks like they will probably go here and then you got some green rhinestones some large red ones um, it's number six it goes right there then you got some little blue there's some half pearls some larger half pearls some AB teardrops and then some glittery turquoise I love those and they're even they're feel like they've got facets on them too because they're bumpy of course that's probably the glitteriness but they feel like they got facets and they'll go right there in the number eights so it's gonna be really pretty against that red lots of blue and pearlescent colors I think that will be very very pretty so let me put this up and I'll be right back okay this is the next item and this does appear to be a sticker um, you would peel off the front first, which is a little hard for me to do with my nails, but well, there it is peeling off from the back, so I'm going to have trouble getting off the front part because it keeps wanting to peel off the back part. Yeah, it's not wanting to separate the front for me. I'll probably end up having to take a pair of tweezers to it, but you peel off the front, you would diamond paint it. Um, it looks like it is squares. And it's like a little uh, chevron pattern. Like a rainbow chevron. You got pretty mint green, a navy, a dark yellow, a red, a lot of whites, um, a darker mint color. So two different colors of like mint green and then a pretty pink so it's like a pink and then a dark magenta really and yellow and navy and white um, but um, not sure what you put these on um, you could probably wrap a tumbler with it um, put it on a book and have like a diamond painted stripe across um, your book cover for school because I don't go to school so much too old for that and there I go dropping drills in the floor um, but yeah it's a sticker you can decorate whatever with it um, don't have much to say about that um, I honestly don't think this was more than a couple of bucks so not too pleased about it but what can you do uh, so hold on I'll be right back and we'll look at the last little craft item okay this is the last item it wasn't even sealed it looks like the tape had wore out on it. It's got, or they had put it in the polyfill because it's got like little polyfill uh, pieces all over it. But this is a little keychain and it will be like puffy and um, it's called, they call it a DIY, DIY bead embroidery kit. It's sort of like beaded cross stitch, um, but you only do, um, if I'm not mistaken, half. I think it's half stitches. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you. Um, it looks like they're doing full cross stitches. So yeah, it is a beaded cross stitch, but the entire thing is beaded. You got the polyfill that will go in it, which that really looks like dirty poly polyfill, but anyway. And this isn't sealed either, but at least it they haven't pulled the tape off of it, that's why it's not sealed. And this is what you get. You get the double-sided little unicorn. And you would sit here and cross-stitch and put a bead in every single one of these. And then you would sew it together and cut off the ex excess. Well, cut off the excess. You would cut, like, a section out from it and then sew it all together and fill it and they actually don't give you instructions on sewing it together and filling it but I would probably sew it all the way around to either part of its head or its tail and then stuff it with the polyfill and then finish uh, whip stitching it together
but yeah it's really really cute um, I do have a cousin with a little girl who loves to go around pretending like she is locking and unlocking doors so this is going to be a present for her but we've got some pretty white for the body of the unicorn and then there's some like almost clear um, gold like color which probably be the little hair all the little hair is like iridescent um, then there's blue and pink for the hair and then there's black which would be the outlining um, the blue would also go on the little eye and then there's like a little decoration on its little tushy and those colors and then the pink is also on the cheeks and the little hooks and stuff but yeah it's just basically a beaded cross stitch um, you get all of your thread and everything with it um, that's what you will right there's like fishing line that you would uh, sew it together with um, because you want that to be clear and unseen and then you got colors that match your beading and then there's the little keychain piece and then several little beaded cross stitch uh, needles right there and hopefully these are better than the ones that I got with my uh, what is it um, oh I can't think of the name of it comes from one two three stitch um, I got a little beaded cross stitch camper that I did my mom for my mom uh, to put on the refrigerator in their camper and uh, the beads the little uh, needle that came for the beads wouldn't fit the uh, was so had such a small eye that you couldn't thread it especially put two threads through it you could get one through it and barely get one through it I'm going to pull that little tab off so I can fill this up and not lose any of that because this is going to be a present for someone and I'm, I'm kind of excited that I got this. I'm going to put the polyfill back in there but I'm going to pause and finish putting this up and then we'll look at the diamond paintings and pray that the big one is not ruined. Okay, I am back with the diamond paintings and this time they are in plastic. So... I'm not actually going to ruin my tweezers doing that. Toss that over and see if we can pull off the tape. Throw that away. Uh, the scissors out of the way. I'm likely to knock them off onto my chipsies. Push the foam core out. Set that aside. And there's our paper. Oh, it does it like this. Is, yep, this is a dragon. Right there is the picture. And this is a 30 by 40 and it is 27 colors and I do like that that is a large dragon on that small painting. Um, I do not like the how tightly it was rolled though because now we have these that are likely to turn into rivers. Um, the back looks good so hopefully not. Luckily, it is not turning into rivers. Thank goodness. I will probably be recovering these before I store them. Um, this one is much better charting. There's actually letters instead of symbols on this one. 
um, which I like a whole lot better. It's letters and numbers. Much nicer. Um, it has the glittery background. Those from the other one were not the same. I don't know. There's something different. I do notice... Yeah, it's different paper on the others. They don't have the glitter on them. That's why they felt different in everything. And probably, I'd say that somebody different did these because like it didn't have this glittery paper and the symbols were completely different on all of those. Uh, but there's no training wheels. It looks like this one is a square. Um, I do have mine set to give me either one to surprise me because um, I like either. I'm not a square snob or a round snob, either one. Um, I didn't go down on all of those before because uh, it's kind of like the same quality no matter what. But there you can get the drill filled. This is much easier to read than the one with all of those symbols, large symbols in it. Um, I do like this one much better. Let's go back out, and we'll lay the paper back down. I'm not going to go the other direction because I went like within an inch of this end. I'm not going to open these again. That would just take too long to go through them. But you got blacks, a lot of purple, some yellow, red, orange, uh, more purple, more red. Looks like that's navy and brown, purple, some black flesh tone, and pink. So it's going to be some pretty colors for that one. So that's one painting. I'm pleased with that one. This is the next painting. This one should be another 30 by 40. is sticking to me. Pull the foam core out. Again, this one is very tightly wrapped. I get the tape off my fingers. Not being very cooperative right now. Oh, wow, that's tightly wrapped. Hmm. Hate it when they're so tightly wrapped. Let's see what this one is. Another very fierce large face dragon. So I'm not unhappy about these um, because they are very large images. That's one of the things I didn't like about the fairies and the wolves. Um, still should get fairies because it's supposed to be dragons and fairies. I think all fantasy type creatures um, together. Um, but I do, and actually that is a dragon, and it almost looks like Khaleesi, because it is a blind-headed chick, but it's not actually Khaleesi, but there is a blonde girl with the dragon. Let's see, come on. And again, this one is jaggedly cut on this end, and it is wanting to separate the paper. And of course I tore it so we can get the paper to stop separating right there. There we go. Now I'm going to stop tearing it. And we can get it to lay down. Uh, 
I do have it upside down, it looks like. So we're going to turn it around and try not to get stuck to anything in the meantime. So um, the girl's not going to be very easy to see, but she is right here. Um, you might can see her better in the viewfinder than I can see her, but she's right here and she's got long blonde hair. And she's leaning against the nose of the dragon. The dragon, I know you can see really well because I can see the dragon. Um, but she's kind of small. She's not going to be very easy to see. But it's not going to be bad because she is like laying her face on it. And um, so you, it's not like she's looking straight out. Um, she's in profile. So it doesn't have to have as much uh, detail when they're in profile. But yeah, so gonna be a lot of reds it looks like in this one um, it is like confetti driven I guess you can say because even this because there's a lot of shading everywhere so this is gonna be very confetti heavy this is gonna be one of those where you want to have like 20 trays uh, 23 trays to be exact <laughs> out on your table which I hope I get my uh, I've got some trays coming. What is that? Looks like there's tape on it on this end too. Look at that. But yeah, that's this one. And these are the colors. You see reds, purples, golds, browns, blues, uh, maroon. Um, that's navies. Um, actually, there's the only black. I thought there wasn't a black, but yeah, there's black, a little bit of white, and creams and caramels. But yeah, that's all the colors. There's pink just kind of hiding in the back. I do like that there are colors all come in individual baggies, so you don't actually have to kit up if you don't want to. You can just pour straight from the baggies. Make sure that paper's down before I move on. To the one that I'm afraid of. So this is the one that worries me. And I don't even know how I'm going to get into it the way it's folded on the ends. Let's see. There is a hole right there, so I can't cut that. For a moment of truth, will I be getting a Replacement Diamond Painting from Diamond Painting Club for this one. Oh, let's go ahead and cut the tape. And pull it off. I do wish they scallop the edges because these do fray, as you can see right there. The tape has caused it to fray some. Now let's see if I can get the tape off my fingers easier this time. Yep, a little bit easier this time. Okay, let's see if we can unfold it enough to get the all out. I am not at all happy about that. I know this is just the edge of the painting, but seriously, there was no need to fold it. It still is going to cause trouble when you're trying to diamond paint because this has been folded up and in the mail for I don't know how long. And I mean, I'm still pulling layers. I finally reached the center of the Tootsie Roll. And both sides are folded, so it means that the key is even folded up. Now, can I push the... And see, it even took some of the edge of the painting off. And there's a little bit of tape left on this side. Come on, get off my finger. 
get off my finger. Okay. Very tightly rolled. Let's see what the painting should be. Um, it looks like it might be like an elf, maybe, right there. Um, I'll see if I can put a better picture up over here on the side. Hopefully I will remember, but yeah, it looks like it might be an elf or maybe like a wood sprite or something. She's got like a halo of flowers around her head. And this is supposed to be a, it looks like it's more squared. This is a 45 by 45, so yes, it is squared. And because it's so tightly woven and that ends are, it's not the same paper on it as the others either. I'm just going to have to start pulling back and hoping that I can get it to straighten as we go. Now this paper is separating too, but we're going to go down this side and do the best we can. And then I pour it. Never fails. I always tear when it's one big piece like this. Come on. paper is very tightly down. And you know what? I'm not even sure I'm going to go much further. There's, the tape does not come all the way down. On, I mean, it's not even sticky right there. So there's a slight bit of area that doesn't even have glue on it. And it is nothing but river after river after river. They're small, but there are hundreds of them. And I do mean hundreds of them. And the paper just tore. Yeah, I don't even know that I want to go any further because, yeah, the like I said, I don't know if you can see that, but the glue is not on there evenly. And there's just a slight little... I mean, it's only about a half a drill's worth, but I will have to glue that. And um, I'm going to see if I can get you down here to see. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but like there's river after river. It's just, it's like little tiny rivers just everywhere. On this painting. I mean everywhere. It's just river after river. There's more here. Um, the paper is actually stuck up here. And there it just fell off on the floor. Hold on just a minute. Let me get it. I'm hoping it's not covered in cat fur or dog fur. Okay, I'm back. It did manage to somehow not land on the sticky and stick to the floor. I don't know how, but it did. Um, I did go ahead and start this back up. You can see where the paper tore right there. Um, but it is a tightly woven, rivered mess. I'm not pleased at all. So yeah, I am going to have to contact them and tell them that there are rivers in it. And I mean, this is so hard to pull off. So freaking hard. And I'm going to try and pull the entire thing off and salvage what I can. Hold on just a minute since I'm shaking the camera like crazy. I'm going to pull it back out. 
I am going to pause and see if I can get this pulled completely off and I'll be right back okay I completely took the paper off of it I am probably going to just recover it pause and recover it with my parchment paper sheets right here which I will show you I buy these off of Amazon they come in this little box and they're little like four by four sheets um, that and some of them are cut where it never fails you can't get like because I did four by four and didn't think about doing five by five which would have been a whole lot made a whole lot more sense since most of diamond paintings are like in increments of five you know 20 30 35 40 45 uh, but um, that's the size I bought and so I'm dealing with it for right now um, but I do have to cut like one small strip top and bottom so some of them will be cut but uh, yeah I basically this is the little like wood sprite you see um, I can't tell if she has ears or not but there's the like flower halo and it looks like there might be I have to be careful because every time I move it it starts rolling again it looks like there might be a couple of birds that are putting the little flowered halo on her head. Um, but anyway, I will completely... It is really nice and sticky, but like I said, it is nothing. Yeah, these are full-on rivers. Um, I might be able to fix it, but I don't want to put that other paper back on it. I don't have to test these out. These are perfect for diamond painting because either side will work I said it just I mean barely I mean you can pull it right off um these are not don't mistake these for wax paper this is not wax paper this is uh, like a butcher's paper hamburger paper um It is just make sure you do not buy wax paper and you buy um, people have said the one at Dollar Tree works really well this strip you buy at Dollar Tree works really well but then I've heard some people say that one side of that does stick and one side doesn't and then other people have said that neither side sticks so I don't know I don't think I paid more than there's like 500 sheets in here and I think I paid about uh, I don't know six seven eight bucks for it Let's see, because it's a 45, it actually is a little bit better, but I'm not going to worry about cutting it when it's just an inch. But I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do the entire thing, but you get the gist of it. This is how I recover mine so that I don't have to worry about the double-sided tape. Um, getting rivers and stuff in it. Um, this already has rivers in it, so I am not wanting to waste any time. I just want to get it done. Fixed. But anyway, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to finish covering this and then we'll come back and look at the drills. Okay, I got that recovered, and here are the drills for it. Um, lots of purples and blues and mint, um, blue grays, um, more blues and purples, a little bit of white, some off white, a few pinks and like beigey light colors. But mostly, it's a lot of purples and blues. Um, it is 29 colors. Um, it's probably going to be a gorgeous diamond painting. It's just as you can see in my, you can see it puckering up in my uh, butcher's paper where the rivers are. I did find an actual pucker which is right in here. I think it was over here. Yeah, it's right there. There's an actual pucker right here. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's got uh, quite a few problems the uneven tape, the rivers, the pucker, um, the very hardly wadded up 
side over here. In fact, the tape goes way out over there. I didn't quite cover all of it. Let's just pull that piece off. I'll put it a little bit further out. So, yeah. I'm going to contact Easy Whim on that and see even when I push this down and try to press it onto the rivers, you can see it starts coming back up where the tape is kind of separating right there. Yeah, it's just, you can really see them really well. Those white little lines right through there, those are the rivers. Um, at least I hope you can see them. I can't quite tell on here if you can see them as well as I can see them. Let's see right there, I think. That one right there, that white line right there, it keeps popping up. I can push it down, but it will come right back up. Those are the rivers underneath this butcher's paper, and you can actually feel it really well underneath the butcher's paper. But yeah, there's tons of them on this end of the painting. So yeah, not too good. Not very happy with that. Pull you back out. Pull my camera over a little bit. Um, anyway, that was this box. Uh, that was my double check. I didn't even look to see. Um, July. So June is the month that they skipped. So that was my July box. I got it in August before my April box, but after my May box at least. Um, and I have my August box which I will be doing a video on next. And I'm hopefully going to get all of these up back to back to back. Um, we'll see. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Either way, it's some activity for me. And the more activity, the more I get shown on YouTube, which I would really appreciate because I really, really, really need to grow. Anyway, um... I am going to finish up these two videos, and then I'm going to get back to my drills and chills uh, picture. I actually have two of them going on at the same time for drills and chills. Um, one is a, well, one of them is like a haunted cemetery that I haven't actually shown the picture of yet. Um, and then the other one I had started was a witchy cat flying over a little city, and I'm putting glow in the dark. Uh, rhinestones all over it um, from Tima. Um, but anyway, and I think I have her link down below. I'll make sure um, if you want to get some glow in the dark or some sparklers or some ABs or uh, any kind of jellies, all kinds of really neat, unusual uh, gems, uh, drills to put on your diamond paintings and dress them up. Uh, Tima is the woman to see. Um, anyway, uh, that's and for this video, I don't want to start rambling like I did in the last one. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed and click that little bell icon so that you know when I upload my videos because right now they are a little sporadic. Um, but I'll see you on the next one. Bye.